Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine and you're watching Jasmine It Up. In today's video, I have for you my October everyday makeup drawer. So if you guys haven't seen these kinds of videos yet, I will have my playlist linked up in the eye. I don't know if it's on this side or this side, but basically I look in what I have in my everyday makeup drawer, which is at my desk, where I do my makeup every single day. I pick which items I want to keep in there and then I put back everything else that I don't plan on using. And I basically shop through my makeup collection and pick out new items when that maybe I haven't tried yet or I haven't tested out in a very long time and I pick out what items I want to be using for the next month. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I have in my everyday makeup drawer at the moment and then we'll go ahead and shop my stash. Alrighty, so this is my everyday makeup drawer. I have this on my desk where I do my makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and go through these items, pull which ones I have shown a lot of love to, and then we're going to go ahead and dive into my makeup collection. So right over here, starting on the left, I have all of my ColourPop Single Super Shock Shadows. These always stay in here. They are my absolutely favorite. I love this formula and I need to place another order on ColourPop and get some more shades. So I do have some of these Stila Glittering Glows over here that actually are not my favorite. I was pretty disappointed with these so I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in my makeup collection as well over here I have this elf single shadow. It's very very pretty But my single shadow for my current project pan is very similar to this shade So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in my collection my project pan Which is why it has this little piece of tape on it. I have this in the shade thirsty girl It is a color pop super shock shadow. This is what it looks like the shade is pretty similar So I don't really need that one because I'm trying to work on my project pan one obviously so this is going to stay in my collection and then I also have this little baby tart single shadow and it is in the shade Frosé. It's very very pretty so I'm going to go ahead and keep this in here with my ColourPop shadows. So right over here I have my NYX Roll On Shimmers. They're like a glitter and you use the glitter glue to apply it and it is beautiful but I don't use all of these shades and I want to keep this compartment for more makeup so I'm going to go ahead and pick some shades that I want to keep in here and then I'm going to put the rest of them back in my collection. So I picked three, the three shades that I'm going to keep. This is in the shade Nude. I'm also going to keep in my everyday makeup drawer the shade Salmon and I'm also going to be keeping in Taupe. So moving right along, I have this blush here. This is a Lumi Radiant Blush from AOA Studio and I have it in the shade Ravish. I have been, oh, I have been loving this blush. It is wonderful, very pigmented, has a beautiful sheen to it, but I need to show love to other blushes in my collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back as well as this Makeup Revolution Triple Baked Blusher in the shade Peachy Keen. This is beautiful, one of my favorite blushes, but I need to show love to other ones, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back as well. I have this highlighter here from Hard Candy, and it is in the shade Rose Gold. It's beautiful. I use this as shoulder highlight, but it is getting a little bit cooler now, so I feel like I don't need this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in my collection as well. I have my highlighter, which is in my project pan, which is what has the tape on it. This is the Becca highlighter in the shade Opal. Right back here, I have my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. I've been using this for a hot minute. This is gigantic. I feel like this is gonna last me forever. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in my makeup collection because I think I have a couple new powders I wanna try. This right here is one of my favorite primers. This is the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in my makeup collection because I have a couple more primers that I want to try out. Next, I have a foundation here. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. This is my jam. I absolutely love this, but I have been using this so much that I need to show love to other foundations. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back. And I actually mix it in with this AOA Studio foundation. This was only a dollar. This is the A Plus Buildable Satin Foundation. This is a little bit darker for me so for some of my lighter foundations I've been mixing this in so actually I think I'm going to keep this in my collection that way if I do pull lighter foundations I can mix it with this and get my perfect shade. This is just a random chapstick I'm just going to throw that over there for now. I have been loving this elf 16 hour camo concealer. I just tried this like I finally hopped on the train and I'm in love with this concealer. I'm actually going to keep this in my everyday makeup drawer for now. I may take it out if I find a concealer that I need to try but for now this is going to stay in here. It is wonderful. Next one I have here this is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. I've used this a couple times since it's been in my everyday makeup drawer. This setting spray is also from the Shop Miss A website. It was a dollar. This is the A Plus setting spray and I've only been trying this for maybe the past couple weeks so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that in my everyday makeup drawer as well. Another AOA Studio item. This is the Wonder Skin Perfecting Blur Primer. I'm gonna keep this in. I just brought this in my everyday makeup drawer just a couple weeks ago as well. So that's gonna stay in here. This is another Project Pan item. This is the 
City Color Glow and Complexion Illuminating Cream. So that's gonna stay in there. I just have bits and bots over here. So I have my eyelash curler and this is my current mascara that I'm using. This is the Essence Lash Princess. This is amazing. I have another concealer here. This is the KVD Beauty Locket Concealer. So that's staying because it's in a project pan. This concealer here, this is a two-in-one concealer and foundation from Santi, which is a brand that you can get at the Shop Miss A website. Um, this was a dollar. I've been using this as eyeshadow primer, but I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in because I've been using the Kat Von D Locket Concealer as eyeshadow primer instead. So this is gonna go back in my makeup collection. Have my favorite chapstick of all time. This is the Carmex Classic Lip Balm and it's medicated. And I just have a pencil eyeliner in black and an LA Color Liquid Eyeliner also in black that I use for my wings. So right back here, I have another highlighter and this is the e.l.f. highlighter um, and this is in the shade 24 karat gold it is beautiful but I think I'm ready to put it back in my makeup collection it looks like I haven't touched it but I promise you I have been testing it out for the past month or so for brows this is the BH Cosmetics flawless brow trio and I have been using this thing to death I've had this in my everyday makeup drawer for the longest time as you can see I've even hit pan so this needs to go back and I have to try a new brow product I also have a pencil here from Shop Miss A, the AOA Studio. This is going to stay in here. I have this Essence Make Me Brow Brow Gel. I'm going to go ahead and put that back because I have a couple new ones that I want to try. Moving over here to Shadows. This is my Pan That Palette. So this is obviously going to stay. I'm just going to move that over there for now. I also have this ColourPop Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Element of Surprise. And this is what it looks like. I got a few uses out of this and I'm ready to put it back on my makeup collection. This Contour Palette from City Colors. This is also in my Project Pan. So this is staying. And and then I just moved y'all over a little bit closer. So I have been trying these e.l.f. bite size quads. These are the best thing ever. I cannot wait to get my hands on more of the shade. So I have this first one here is in Carnival Candy. So that's going to go back. I got use out of that. This one is in the shade Truffles. This one is amazing. I definitely got some use out of this. But the one I got the most use out of is this one in Hot Jalapeno. This is my all-time favorite of the ones that I have so far. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in my collection but these shades are amazing so pigmented and I absolutely love it I have a couple more elf eyeshadows here this is the mad for matte jewel pop these are all matte shades and it has just an range of all the colors literally that you can possibly think of and this is amazing very very pigmented they blend out very very well so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in my makeup collection and this one I've had in my makeup collection for a while this is the mad for matte eyeshadow palette and this is in summer breeze and here Here's what this one looks like. It has some purpley, some peachy colors in here, but also some nice browns and neutrals. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in my makeup collection as well. Last but not least, right over here, I have my Sad and Broken Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm not even gonna try to open it, but this is just little pieces and chunks of what's left of the powder. I've been using this to set like my eyelid primer and underneath my eyes. So that's gonna stay in there undisturbed in that corner. So before we dive into my makeup collection, actually, I do have this little acrylic thing on on my desk but in this bottom drawer I keep lip products so I just pull a bunch out and then whenever I need a lip product I pull it from here and then I automatically put it back in my makeup collection once I'm done using it for that day so this is just leftovers I need to fill it up a little bit but I want to see if there's any that I want to put back so I have this a Kat Von D like these little tester things these are the studded kiss lipsticks and I feel like this sample I should be able to use but it's been in here for so long so I'm gonna keep it in here just because I want to use that sample up and then I have have this mini Ofra lipstick and this is in the shade Brickle so I want to go ahead and use this it is a beautiful red shade I just haven't gotten a chance to it yet this one I just recently put in this is from Ciate London and this is in the shade pinup so I want to keep this in here as well this NYX soft matte lip cream I also just put in here recently this is in the shade Rome it's beautiful for fall so I'm gonna keep that in there as well and then this is a color pop liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Lumiere 2 so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this back of my makeup collection because it's been in here for a couple months and then I also have this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and this is in the shade catnip so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this in here because I haven't used it yet and I want to those are the ones I have in there I do need to pick out a few lip products to fill that drawer back up so now we can officially go ahead and dive into my makeup collection alrighty so this is the top drawer of my makeup collection I do have an Ikea like drawer set that I have and it works for me so all this pink that you see in that corner is a bunch of extra sponges so I I have Wonder Blenders from Shop Masse. I have an Elf sponge there. I have Morphe sponges there. So those are just backups that I keep back there. Right over here, I have liquid eyeliners, my colorful ones. And usually I don't pull colorful eyeliners. I just always keep a black one in 
my everyday makeup drawer. So if I need a specific color, I just come in here. I have some from NYX. I have some from the Shop Miss A. I have some from Milani. So those just sit in there, as well as the pencil ones. If I want a specific color, I just come and grab that specific color, but I always keep a black one in my everyday makeup drawer. Right over here in this blue basket is where I have my eyebrow stuff. So I do need to pick an eyebrow product. I do have an eyebrow pencil that I kept in there from Shop Miss A. Um, and I do have two new brow gels, both of them from e.l.f. I have this Wow Brow in Deep Brown, and then I also have this Clear Mascara and brow set here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one, the clear brow. I've been wanting to try this for a hot minute, but I've also heard wonderful things about this wow brow. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. I think I should pull out a pomade. I have this one here from LA Colors that I haven't even opened, and this one here from LA Girl. But this is also new in my collection. I got this from Icing. This is a brow kit. And let me go ahead and pop this open for you guys. Here's what it looks like. It's just um, powders in here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the pomade. And I'm just gonna continue to use this LA girl brow pomade I've only used it a handful of times and here's what the shade looks like and I have mine in the shade Dark brown, so that'll be my brow product for this round and then right back here in the red basket I just have extra mascaras So I don't need a mascara because I have my lash princess and then this one over here is concealers So I've actually tried all the concealers that are in here So like I said, I love the elf camo concealer So I'm just gonna keep that in there and I'm not going to pull another one since I also have the Kat Von D one in my project that I need to try and finish up. So that's it for the first drawer. Second drawer, I have all of my setting sprays. So this is just like a grip so the setting sprays don't um, slide every time I open and close it. And I do have the one from Shop Miss A that I did keep in my everyday makeup drawer. So I'm not going to pull any of these out. But I do need to pull out some primer. So I have the one from Shop Miss A, the blurring one. But I do have a couple in here that I haven't tried yet. So I haven't yet tried this Smashbox original photo finish smooth and blur primer haven't tried that one yet I also recently just got this AOA Perfect Filter Face Primer. And I also got this one also from the Shop Miss A website. And I think I'm going to go with this one, actually. This is the Perfect Filter Face Primer. This one intrigues me the most, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one aside for my everyday makeup drawer. Okay, third drawer here has face powders and foundations over here. So let's start with powders. I did pull out that Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Powder, so I want to go ahead and pull another powder out because I have that Broken Rimmel one, but I love setting my face with loose powder so let's see if there's one in here that I haven't yet tried I haven't yet tried this Too Faced Do You one, but I'm saving this for the winter time because I have oily skin. I don't think it's gonna work because it still is a little warm here in North Carolina. So that will save for like December. So one that I haven't gotten too much use out of is this AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this and then I'll move y'all over a little bit over here to all of my foundations. So I have this one from Makeup Revolution, which is one of my favorites. I haven't yet tried out this Becca one, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. I honestly haven't heard the best things about this. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation and it is a little bit light for me so it'll be perfect because I still have that Shop Miss A AOA Studio Foundation that's a little bit darker. I can just mix those two together. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that one out and I also think I'm going to pull out... I haven't showed too much love to this Believe Beauty one. One of my favorite YouTubers talks about this foundation. It is one of her favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and test it out some more. I have not yet tried that Wet n Wild cushion one back there. Um, so I need to test that one out. But I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out and the Becca one for foundation for this month. This is one of my favorite drawers. It has highlighter, blush, and bronzer in it. And then right over here, I have some single um, eyeshadows, some glitters. I have a couple quads back here that I rarely use so that I'm just gonna leave alone I don't think I need to pull any glitters or anything out but I do need to pull out a bunch of the stuff over here so because I do have a bronzer in my project pan at the moment I'm not gonna pull any bronzers out I did recently get a bunch of new bronzers that I'm so excited to test out so let's pick out some blush so I do have this elf duo here this is in the shade spiced apple this is the bite side face duo I'm so excited to test this out I've heard wonderful things about this so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and then and I also recently just got this Cabana Boy blush. Uh, yeah, why don't I just take this one out? This is the Cabana Boy by The Bomb. I literally just got this. So I'm very excited to try this out. This is what it looks like. It's very, very pretty. So I will have those two blushes to try out for a little bit. And then highlighters. Let's see. Oh, I have this one. This is the Halo highlighter from the AOA Studio that I've only tested out maybe like once. 
Oh, I haven't tried this shade out yet. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome, and this is in the shade 250. I don't know what the actual name of it is, but I haven't yet tried this shade. I've obviously tried the Maybelline Master Chrome, like the actual formula, but I haven't tested out this shade specifically. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out, and I think I have a highlighter palette that I also wanna pull out. So let me go ahead and move on to the next drawer, which is all of my face palettes. So this is my face palette drawer. I have a couple of Makeup Revolution palettes back there. I have a couple of my Anastasia ones here and another Makeup Revolution palette. And this highlighter palette is the one that I wanna test out. This is from Makeup Revolution and it is in the shade Fresh Perspective. I haven't yet tried this and I'm very excited to. And I think that's the only thing I'm gonna pick out from here. Otherwise, over there I have just liquid highlighters and because I have one in my project pan, I don't really need one of those over there. So that's it for this drawer. Let's go ahead and move on to lips. So. So this is all my lip items and I also have some miscellaneous eyeshadow palettes back there that I don't really use so those just chill back there but I have this YSL little tester thing but once I finish the Kat Von D little sample thing I'll probably move on to this one so that one's just gonna stay back there as well but I have been trying out these buxom ones recently I've had them in my collection for a while and then I tested them out again because I completely forgot how I felt about them but I want to go ahead and pull one or two of these out I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out here. It is in the shade Celeste. It is beautiful. It is like a peachy pink kind of a color and I'm very excited. It has glitters in it and it has a cooling effect to it, which I don't mind at all. It kind of feels really good on the lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that gloss out and let's just go ahead and go by category. So right over here, I have my NYX Stop Lift Creams, which I do have one so far in that drawer, but I do wanna pick another one out because I love the formula. And the color that I chose is in the shade Prague. It is like a very dark pink shade it's very very pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out to go with the other NYX soft matte lip cream that I already have right over here is all of my Too Faced babies this is my all-time favorite liquid lipstick of all time it is the Too Faced melted Mac liquid lipstick and it is in the shade cool girl it is beautiful but I don't think there's any other Too Faced lip products that I want to take out at the moment so right over here I have like my actual stick lipsticks which I use very rarely but I have been wanting to use some of my wet and wild ones and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this one out this is a nude here's what it looks like it's been a while since I've used any of my wet and wild stick lipsticks so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this shade out and then I have a bunch more of stick lipsticks over here that they're just gonna stay there right over here in this bright green basket I have more lip glosses which I've been into gloss lately so let me see if there's another one in here that I want to pull out I have this one here that I've only tested out once. This is from the Shop Missé um, website and it's just a clear gloss and it's supposed to be cherry scented. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that one out. That way I can literally put it on top of anything because it's clear. Right over here, I have all of my ColourPop babies. I love ColourPop formula. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull a couple out of here as well. Alrighty, so I picked two out. This is a liquid lipstick. This is just a mini and I have this in the shade Stud. And I think it's really, really pretty. Perfect for the fall time. And then this other one is like a berry color and this is in the shade Viper. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull both of these ColourPop liquid lipsticks out. Right back here I have some Kat Von D and some just random liquid lipstick formulas over here. Like I have the Sephora brand, Kat Von D, I have Buxom. I just have random ones. So let me see if there's any in here that I want to yank out. Yeah I have a Sephora liquid lipstick and this is in the number 23 but I feel like this one is going to be perfect for fall. It's very cool tone and it's like a like a brownish cool tone shade so I think this will be perfect so those are the all the lip products that I'm gonna pull for now so now for the fun part let's go ahead and pick some eyeshadow palettes all right I have two drawers of eyeshadow palettes I have this larger one here and then I have this one on top so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the one on top Alrighty, so here is the first drawer. I have such an array of eyeshadow palettes and there are some that I have not yet tried. So I have not yet tried these Huda Beauty ones. I have this one here, which if you have seen my Sephora and Ulta haul, I will link it up in the iCard. This one came to me broken and I obviously didn't return it, but one of the shades, oh, I was so sad when I opened it up and I'm so scared to use it. That one there is obviously shattered, but I want to try this so bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out and just be so, so careful when I use it. 
Oh, I have not yet tested out this Makeup Revolution palette. I have been wanting to do a makeup tutorial with this and I promise it is coming. When I hauled it, I asked you guys if you wanted to see a like a foresty green like makeup look with this and I did have a subscriber say that she was interested in it and I haven't yet done it, but I promise it's coming. This is the Makeup Revolution palette and it is in the shade Chilled. It has the most gorgeous green shades in it and it has some bronzy shades in it. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out because I haven't yet used it and I do need to film that video and post that for y'all and let's see have okay I think that's it for this drawer let's go ahead and move on to the second one and see if there's anything else that I want to pull out so let's see I have this gigantic Morphe palette just sitting here on top and honestly this is perfect for the fall time it has the most beautiful orangey shades in it I absolutely love this palette for the fall I'm gonna go ahead and hold off on this guy for now because I always pull this guy out during the fall time so let's see I have some mini palettes here. Oh, I do have another Bite Size Elf um, quad here that I recently just got, so I haven't yet tried this guy out. Let's see, I have the Baby Juvia's Place one, my ColourPop ones, and all the way back here behind the Morphe, I have some Beach Cosmetics. Oh, I haven't yet tried some of these palettes. I have so many palettes, y'all. Let's not judge, okay? If you guys want to, I have an entire eyeshadow palette collection on my channel that you guys can go ahead and watch where I do swatches as well. I really need to try this one out. Oh, man. I want to try this one, but I want to try this one as well, and I want to keep trying that one out. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to save these ones for next time. I'm going to go ahead and pull out this self-made palette. I tested this out in a full face of Shot Miss A, and it went pretty well. I enjoyed the shadows that I did use in here, but I need to go ahead and use more of these so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this self-made palette to go along with those other two palettes that I pulled so far and I also have my pan that palette that I'm currently doing the villains cast a spell and the evil queen that I need to continue to use so I'm not gonna pull any more eyeshadow palettes out so this is what my everyday makeup drawer is looking like the color pop one stayed the same as well as I have the NYX roll-on glitters right over here I have my broken items I have my Rimmel stain matte powder and the Huda Beauty gem stones obsessions palette right there and then I have my blushes in here so I have the elf one and the cabana boy from the bomb brow products right there in the back and then I have all of my oh I have all of my face products setting spray foundations primers setting powder I have highlighters and that little section over there from makeup revolution Maybelline city color and then I have my concealers mascara my eyelash curler and my chapsticks in there right over there all the way to the right I have all of my palettes my bronzer palette my eyeshadow palettes they're all stacked up over there and then last but not least I pulled out the drawer this is all of the lip products that I pulled out that I'm gonna be using for the next month like I said once I use one of these lip products I automatically put them back in my makeup collection in my lip drawer so then I just keep refilling so I'm have a wonderful array of lip glosses liquid lipsticks and bullet lipsticks in here so I'm very excited to be playing with some new items and some old favorites so this is my everyday makeup drawer for the month of October I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. I absolutely love doing these because I always need to refresh my everyday makeup drawer. I feel like I get kind of tired of using the same products maybe like every month or so. So it works out perfectly. I usually do this um, every single month whether if I do it on camera or not. I'm constantly refreshing it and I'm always buying new makeup that I want to test out anyway. So it's awesome that I'm able just to put it in my everyday makeup drawer and test it out during that month. So like I said, I have a playlist on my channel that you guys can go check check out. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, I would love if you would subscribe and join the family. It is the red button down below. I usually upload at least once a week and I upload beauty related videos. If you guys want to see more of me, I have a vlog playlist on my channel. I have makeup tutorials. So definitely go ahead and check my channel out. It would mean so much to me. You guys can follow me on my social media. I have Instagram and Snapchat listed down below for y'all and I hope you guys have a great day. Psh.